Hey everyone, we'll give it a few more minutes for everybody to hop on here, but in the meantime, I'm Spooky Caitlin, and I'm here with Paul Bryant here to do a little bit of conversation about the liquid demis. We'll give it a few minutes for people to pop on here. I'll tell you how many people are coming on. Write a comment. Oh, Casey, we got three people mm -hmm. there. Oh, there's okay. Casey. Excellent. So just let me know if anyone's popping in. Yeah, we have uh, Casey saying hey with a heart. Hi, Casey. <laughs> hey, girl. Kelly Marie saying hi. Hello. Yay, Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Looking spooky, Casey says. <laughs> just did a color bomb so like this is so fresh that i went into the bathroom and was like whoa that actually startled me for a hot second christina saying hey another caitlin saying hola spanish caitlin sounds like a cooler caitlin <laughs> <laughs> rianne saying hi all right so yeah. many people we've got we got 30 right now Okay, I think we're probably good to start. Yeah, I think so too. Awesome. So, hello. Thank you all for joining me today. I am Spooky Caitlin on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so I'm super easy to hunt down there. I've been a hairstylist in the industry now for uh, going into my eighth year right away here. And I've been working with Pulp Riot for about two of those years. I first became involved with Pulp Riot a couple of years ago when I first saw their amazing, amazing, amazing semi-permanence launch uh, on Instagram. As you can see, I'm a real big fan of really bright hair, so the bigger and bolder we can go, the better. Um, one of the big things that really, really drew me to Paul Bryant as an overall brand is the fact that they do not test on animals. It's a really huge one for me. Um, as a bunny rabbit owner, one less bunny in the system is a really important thing for me at the end of the day. So making sure that every single product from Pulp Riot's range, not a single one ever tests on animals, every single thing is cruelty free, um, everything is paraben free, gluten free, and everything has quinoa in it, which just gives an amazing shine. That's a gluten free seed that gives both protein and moisture. So on top of not hurting any little critters, we're also making sure our hair is healthy every single time we use the product. Caitlin Rose says, giving me Beetlejuice vibes. <laughs> you missed the stripy pants last week. You missed the stripy pants on the Zoom class last week. Go to Pulp Riot Canada's uh, YouTube page and you can watch that class and definitely feel more of the Beetlejuice vibes in that one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to dive right into the look that we're going to be doing today. Um, I'm all about making everything in the salon super simple. Um, I like to make everything just really simple and uncomplicated because I am absolutely terrible for overcomplicating everything. So with this gal here, what we're going to be doing is a super fine, like orangey peachy sort of vibe. So we're going to be utilizing a couple different formulas. So this is Manny and we've got her formula over here. Now she's the rock star between my two twins here. So for her base, we're going to be doing a half ounce of 9-3, which is our level 9 gold, with a quarter ounce or 0.25 ounce of dash 66, which is our red booster. And then we're going to be doing 0.25 ounce of clear. We're going to add that all together and do equal parts of our demi developer. So we're going to be doing one ounce of that. And then she's going to have this like really solid, bold money piece in the front, really like hardcore e-girl style. Um, if you did zone into my class uh, last week, we did like a really subtle, uh, very gentle money piece. With this one, we're going big. Um, and so that accent for her is going to be 0.25 ounce of 3-0, thir uh, which is our level 3 natural. And we're pairing that with 0.25 ounces of the liquid demi developer. Awesome. So you've got everything mixed up already here. So if you want to zoom in there. Excellent. You can see how the developer just floats in the color there. 
which is just kind of fun and kind of neat. I'm a really big sucker for color coding any of my bowls here. So Framar's rainbow bowls, I'm a huge fan of. Oh, I'm just gonna mix that up. And it takes all of like two seconds for everything to combine together, which is awesome. And you can already see it's getting that really pretty orangey tone. Set that down for a second here. Give my gal a flip. So I'm going to be starting in the back of the head so that I can literally push everything away and out of my client's face for processing. So again, we're doing something really super and easy here. We've got a fairly standard two quadrants for the front and uh, the back here. But then for the front money piece portion, we're going from the center part line and coming around following tracing just to the front of the ear here. And what's gonna happen is this orangey stuff from the back is gonna peek over top of our really nice dark chunk in the front here, and it's gonna give it a super cool effect. So I'll flip it back around. So these are the Frame Art Emperor brushes. I'm a pretty big fan of these guys, but there's no reason you can't just go in with a regular brush whatever's most comfortable for you. I like the fact that this does have the brush on the back, sorry, the comb on the back of the brush, so that I can easily go through my sections and make sure everything's perfectly saturated. So I'm just going through and outlining everything here. And really making sure I get that bottom neckline too, because there's nothing worse than if she goes and pulls up her hair later and goes, why is this still blonde? And then I'm gonna start at my top section here. And I wanna take fairly small sections, like ideally, with same with the semi-permanence, we want to be able to see through our section. Nice little book pages by the time we're done. Danielle said hello, and Christina said super cute. Danielle also said love that brush with the demis. Oh, they're so nice. Because you can do this on wet hair, you can do this on dry hair, like as far as the technique goes. And the brushes too, they work awesome wet hair, dry hair. So like if I'm doing a super cute little shadow root, I can go through and pop this in and make sure everything's really blended for a shadow root too. And that's kind of the nice thing about the liquid demis is I've definitely felt personally attacked before by a liquid demi of other lines. You know, I've gone to, and put in my like level six seven shadow root and blended it into my level nine ten ends and then i finished processing and i'm like wow my shadow root is no longer a shadow root it is a full color because it's literally gone everywhere this there we go with the pulp right liquid demis i never find that to be an issue where i'm putting my color is where it's staying and you can already see that color changing too so if I was worried that I had misformulated, I can already see at this point if I'm going in the right direction or not, and I can easily save my butt if all of a sudden things are going south. So then pulling everything back down again, combing through my section, making sure everything's nice and distributed, pulling down my next guy. And typically the ends of your hair are gonna be a lot less dense most of your density is right at the root. Your ends of the hair typically have skinnied out a little bit. And that's just from, you know, your daily wear and tear, wearing ponytails, all that jazz. So you can sometimes take slightly larger sections for running through the ends, but you just wanna make sure that you're really saturating everything. Do you have any questions? Does anyone have any questions now? I apologize for not introducing my wonderful assistant <laughs> to begin with. Thank you so, 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 so much, Liz's Hair Biz, for helping me out with both my last class and this class. You can find her on Instagram as well. She's the bomb diggity, and I appreciate her help so very much. Oh, it's always a pleasure. There we go. Just tuned in. What are you doing? <laughs> so we're going to be doing 
like a real hardcore like e-girl money piece but the cool thing is both our mannequins have the exact same haircut we're using the exact same color placement all we're changing up is our color choice so that it suits our clients vibe and then of course how they style their hair also plays into that a little bit Caitlin Rose asked, how did you get in with Paul Bryant? Ooh, super fun question. So the biggest thing that we can suggest is use the product, go on Instagram, talk about how much you love using it. You know, it's definitely putting yourself out there. Um, we want to see how much you love the products in return. Like, I absolutely love doing education, so nothing makes me happy like someone going out and being like, hey, look at this thing I learned. And even if someone like walks away with just like the tiniest tidbit of information, I'm super pumped about that. So I became involved with Pulp Riot. Um, I started using their semi-permanence, was a really, really, really big fan of that. And then they started expanding into the permanent color line. Um, when they were first looking into dropping the styling line in Canada, the brand director for Pulp Riot Canada was going through and doing tours of all the different distributors. So I booked myself out of work so that I could go and talk to this guy and being like, hey, how did you get from point A to point B? Like, how can I get involved in doing something like this? And I was already picking a lot of educators' brains and being like, just how did you get involved? And uh, I think part of it was pure luck in that situation. So huge thank you to Carson Drake from Paul Riot because he gave me the opportunity to go out to Toronto for the Canadian brand launch. And it was just the most amazing experience being able to meet all of these individuals that were so like-minded and just like amazingly passionate about their craft and about education as well. So now that we've moved into the front portion here, again, I've just gone through and done a really big outline of my entire section. And then to keep pushing everything out of the client's face, I'm bringing that section back on a vertical section or vertical parting rather. If we were doing any sort of color melting with this gal, a vertical parting would also ensure that we're getting a really seamless and blended effect from our root to our end. Anytime we're working in verticals, whether it be um, color melting or even curling hair, we're always going to have a softer end result. If we're using vertical sections, we can think things like waves and waterfalls, very soft and rolling sort of concepts. Whereas when we're going in with a horizontal sectioning, so horizontal, vertical, if we're going in with horizontal sectioning, we can think more like mountain peaks. We're getting a lot more firmness and we're going to see a lot more, not necessarily harshness, but more impact. Perfect. So Danielle says, first of all, your brows are so cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Nicole Palmer asks, I want to switch to Paul Pryot. Is there a kit to buy? Ooh, there is a Demi intro kit. Uh -huh. Where is it? You can actually zoom on on that guy there. So that's the box that it comes in. I'm absolutely obsessed with how cute they are. And you can store a ton of stuff. So when I'm traveling for education, um, today I'm at uh, Salon Centre Canada. So thank you so much to them for allowing me to use their beautiful education space here. Um, you can also get it through, so you can get those guys through Salon Centric if you are in the States. Somebody in the comments, like, fact check that for me. Um, you can, in Canada, we can get it through Salon Centre here in Saskatchewan. Um, you can also get it through Modern Beauty Supplies, and I want to say it's Alternative Beauty Supplies. Um, those are just the suppliers that I can think off the top of my head for my area. But uh, definitely give a shout and we can always hook you up afterwards and get you some more information there. So feel free to send me a shout on Instagram afterwards. You can DM me at Spooky Caitlin. Caitlin Rose says salon centric, but not Cosmo Prof. So Correct. same, same here. Yeah. 
Uh, Nicole Romer says, I hate that I can't get into my area in New York. Oh, no. That's so surprising. We'll have to look into that. See if we can find somewhere for you to get it from. Because there's always online, too. Like, mm -hmm. with everything that's going on in the world, a lot of places are definitely going, um, you know, order via online. If, we can't, if you can't order online, maybe find a rep. Maybe you can find yourself like a super valuable homie in the comments of this section too, who'll be like, hey, I'll help you out. Mm -hmm. Send some love. She is obsessed though and watches all the time. So definitely we'll have to look into something. Maybe you can order from somewhere. We'll look into that afterwards. <laughs> Perfect. Dana says, hey. So how is everyone feeling about the smell of the Pelt Bright liquid dummies? Those who have gotten to use it. Those who but... have gotten to use it. <laughs> I know there is a definitely like a love-hate relationship for most people. Realistically, what you're smelling right off the hop is like pure intense grapeseed oil. So it's literally a whole bunch of love is what's coming out in the scent there. Because we've got the grape seed oil, vitamin E oil, avocado oil, sunflower oil in there, um, and a little bit of rosemary and vitamin E, and all of that's going to give some super amazing shine to your color. And all those essential oils are just going to pack in that little bit of extra love. The lovely Taylor says it smells like smoothies, which with all those ingredients mm. in it kind of sounds like one. The most delicious smoothie. Um, Amber Harris says, can't you order from the Salon Centric online and ship it? That would pr more than likely be an option. But some for some people, buying one or two tubes isn't as good of an option for them. So it's hard to say. <laughs> so what I've done now is I've covered my back portion. Um, so that's going to be completely separated out of my way. We don't need to look at her. We don't need to talk to her. She doesn't exist anymore. So now we're going into the great big chunky money piece in the front here. There go. So now I've got my three natural floating in my bowl. You can see it's been floating for a couple minutes there. It actually looks like super cool. And again, we'll just give that a quick mix. And there's such a tiny amount in here. You can literally see that's mixed up in a second. But one of my little tips and tricks, my lighter color is in my lighter bowl. And then my darker color is in my darker bowl. Same thing with my bottles. I've got my lighter color in my lighter bottle and I've got my base color in my black bottle. I'm gonna move to the side here. You wanna have a really nice clean section because they're putting dark right next to light. And you can see there's a couple little strands in there. If we were doing this all in one time, we definitely wouldn't have these little orange guys in here, but I'm just gonna cover right over top of them. So I'm not super concerned about covering them. And then right around the face. What I like about using the, the darker shades of this line as well, is we don't get a ton of staining. And there's nothing worse than Karen coming in with her level five and being like, do you have some hand sanitizer so I can get this off my face? It's like, yes, I have hand sanitizer. No, please don't use it on your skin. That sounds like a terrible time. So we have Denise who said, I recently graduated and I'm stuck on what line to buy. I've been following you guys and doing my research. Definitely helps me out that you're doing a live. So that's awesome. Uh, Dana says they're amazing. Um, Nicole said, I've tried ordering from Salon Centric. Says it's not available in my area. I'm in upstate mm. New York. A lot of Cosmoprof around here. Ugh, that's so frustrating. Um, Dana said, I believe for upstate New York, the distributor is a, &A Beauty. So I've never heard of that one before. Hopefully okay. that helps you out there, Nicole. Hopefully that's a good one. And then Kristen said that's a great tip for the bottles and the brushes. So that's awesome. my base color applied there. Everything I smush through. Real technical term in here, smushing. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Nicole said she's going to try them. That's awesome. I really hope that works out for you. Hopefully that's the saving grace now. So that's the kind of the thing is like I'm in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So we're right smack dab in the middle of Canada. So when it comes to even some of the other provinces, I'm not 100% sure what everybody's got going on. So it's good to know where all of the other distributors are. Yeah, that's awesome. India says she loves this color line. So do we. Paul Pry, it's awesome. So you're definitely utilizing clear for the base color here, but uh, what else have people been using clear for? Like, how are you feeling about it? What do you use it most for? Uh, Kristen says, what's the formula being applied? It is 0 0.25 ounces of 3-0, which is level 3 natural, and 0 0.25 ounces of the liquid demi developer. So one to one there of 3-0 or 3 natural. Even if you want to hold it just on the formula there for a second, and then everybody can take a, a second to screenshot. Yeah, if you guys want to screenshot that, that's the base. So there's the warmer color. And then the accent is the darker piece there. there you go. So you can see with the naturals here, all of Pulp Riot, including Faction 8, which is the permanent color line, is all cool based. So you can see how nicely that depth is coming in there, but it's not going like green or murky or anything like that, even though we're putting it on level like nine hair. It just has that really pretty base to it. And the thing is, is like we've been as hairstylists having to combat warp, warp for the entirety of our careers. Why have another warm based color line when we can really bring that cool tone in and make our lives so much simpler. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm all about that making life easy and a cool toned color line makes life easy. Sagan said it almost looks silver, which it does right now. It'll be interesting to see it when it's all done. It's super cool. So now we've got Manny all plied and she's going to be looking like such a bomb rock star with her super dark, bold money piece and then the super cute peachy orange shade going on here. So the reason we're getting this peachy orange is so we used 9-3, which is our level nine gold. Your gold is obviously going to be yellow based. So then when we add in our dash six, six booster, which is our red booster, our yellow and our red are combining together to create orange. The clear added into the formula just lightens it up a little bit. Nicole, or sorry, Kayla said, looks so great so far. Nicole says, the fact it's not turning murky, I'm freaking sold right uh sagan said you said my name right that's so awesome i'm glad because i was kind of freaking out about it and i just saw something super cool miss taylor is here taylor taylor, taylor. hi taylor we love taylor <laughs> all right so now we've got uh quinn over here this is manny's sister so while manny is that rock star wild child Quinn over here, she's a little bit more relaxed. She's a little bit more boho. She's just rocking her natural curl. She hasn't gone in and blow dried or anything crazy like that. And so on her, what we've done is I created a level five natural gold. So if we look in the color book, where are we here? So if we look here, there actually is not a level five. So what we've done is gone and combined equal parts, 6-03, and 4-03, which leaves us right in the center at a level five. So that helps for any of the uh, level gaps of any of the other colors as well. So, you know, a level nine and a level seven natural, combine them together in equal parts, you're gonna get a level eight natural. Um, working our way down here, a level eight ash and a level six ash. Combine them in equal parts, you're going to get a level seven. So you don't really need to worry so much about any gapping in the colors. They're there for you. You just got to get a little bit more creative with them. So again, the formula for Quinn will be the 0 0.504-03 and 0 0.50 ounce of 6-03. And then our accent. 
just a little flip around for a second here. So you can see, even though this is utilizing a level five on that level nine, like creamy buttery yellow hair, again, we're still getting such a super pretty tone um, without filling her. It almost has like that taupey um, kind of mushroom brown shade to her. But if we had popped this onto, let's say, a level five, it would have been a really pretty refresher to give her a lot of extra warmth to her hair, but in a more refined way. So if, you know, Quinn came in and she's like, I just want to do like a gloss on my natural and maybe she just wanted to lighten out the front section, this would be a really great option for her too. So even on a natural haired beauty, we're getting a lot of use out of uh, the, look, the liquid demis. Kayla brought up a great point here, or you could use clear to lessen your level. So there's another gotcha. great utilage of clear there. So in that situation, we could take our level 4-03, our level 4 natural gold, equal parts with clear, and that would get us that one level lighter. And I just want to make sure I don't have any sort of color left on my hands here. The cleaner that you can work, the better your results are going to turn out. So for Quinn here, this time we're going to go in with a bottle instead of the brush. So we're going to give it a little bit of a squeeze to let the air out and then finger over the top and give her a really good shake. And the reason we squeeze it first is so that we don't get all this product just completely pouring out the top because wasted product means wasted dollars. Nicole asks, how long does the Demi last? I have tons of clients that shampoo every day here in the Texas heat. Well, I'm gonna say it's gonna last as long as you can take care of it. Like with the semi-permanence, the more often that you wash your hair, um, the hotter of water that you use, um, the kind of water that you're using if you have hard water, all of those things are going to play a factor into how long your hair color lasts. So I can't give you an exact amount, I feel. You can't say weeks, because I mean, you could wash, it could last seven washes, but if you last wash your hair every single day for a week, you're only gonna get a week's worth of color. A great option for those people would be like dry shampoo, washing in cold water, even every other to every third day would be a better option. But yes, unfortunately, anytime you do, um, any sort of everyday washing, it's going to affect that longevity for sure. So what I'm doing right now is I'm literally grabbing my sections with my nozzle and then lining through. So I already outlined my entire section and you can see how nicely this spreads throughout everything as well. Sometimes I find I do need to mix up a little bit more when I'm using a bowl or using a, a bottle rather. But I also tend to do a lot more bottle work if I'm going to be toning on wet hair versus dry hair. So you can definitely use the liquid demis for both situations. If we're putting it on to wet hair, keep in mind we're actually gonna be diluting our color results some, somewhat. Um, and that's because the hair is already somewhat filled up with the water. So it can only accept in so much of the color at that point. So we're gonna get a more sheared out version of our color. Whereas if we're putting it on to dry hair, then we're gonna get a more impactful version of our color. Making sure this is all nice and distributed again. These are just some really nice carbon combs. Um, there's some hair coming out of my mannequin there. <laughs> We've um, all been there. <laughs> love mannequin hair so much. Sagan says, I just used a liquid demi in my bottle like that today to tone my own hair. Nice. What did you tone with? What did you tone with? That's a good question. I smushed it up too hard. <laughs> now it's stuck. <laughs> that stay put technology literally had my section put. In Which is place. awesome because 
usually when you use a liquid demi, it's hard to gain the control that you have. And I'm just really making sure that I'm saturating through. I don't want to see any sort of hollow marks. So I'm really mushing that into the hair. So the great thing about the liquid demis is they are acidic based. So they are at a pH of 6.6. .6. So what that means is they're not going to lift the cuticle. So if you just did some like bomb level 9, 10 baby lights on like a level 7 natural and sometimes when you go in and tone with ammoniated color it can lift that natural base. So this is a great answer to that. You can tone out those really beautiful baby lights without worrying about altering your natural base. It was a formula she saw on another live for a silver. Forgets it off the top of her head, of course, but that's all right. It's all good. Um, I do remember Space Step did some really awesome silvers with like the Liquid Demis and Interstellar and the High Speed Toners. Ooh, that sounds very interesting. If you want to refer back to that one, that was an awesome video. I screenshot a bunch of that too. So here we are, chugging along. Does anyone have any other questions while we're doing this? I think that's the one she said, so that ah, could be perfect. Nice. Great minds think alike. <laughs> um. Where do you buy your mannequin heads from? Um, so I was actually sent these, um, by Pulp Riot Canada. Um, they're all pivot point mannequins. Um, I've been super happy with their quality. Um, so both Manny and Quinn are pivot point. Um, she's pivot point. So is she. And I think she's a Danny Co. So as far as brands go, I'm super happy with all of those heads. She, I've actually gotten, I blank canvassed her a few times and gotten like at least like four different looks out of her. And where did we get the Dan & Co one from? Uh, I'm pretty sure that was also Pulp Riot, but that was just for a different set of classes. That makes sense. to make sure it's nice and saturated great thing about doing this on a real client is they have significantly better neck muscles <laughs> so you don't hear you know their legs hitting the floor every time you go to move their neck unlike miss tripod over here Honestly, like if I was doing a curly haired client, I would probably still get a bunch of this follow with your curly haired gals. Our <laughs> hair just like snarls up in itself throughout the course of the day and then hair that would just like naturally fall out can't. So at the end of the day, we like brush our hair out or like go to have a shower and we're like, oh great, I'm going bald. But no, it's just all that hair that would come out throughout the course of the day. So then moving into my side section. And this we have to be really careful for our outlining because this is a level five natural gold and we're going to be putting a level nine natural for her money piece. It's 
being really nice and precise. And this whole e-girl placement is super huge on social media right now. We know TikTok and Instagram has given us our emo styles back. Taking a bunch of us back to our childhood, but like doing it in a way cuter way. And more wildly accepted. <laughs> Which is also super cool. And that's definitely a huge part to like this whole Paul Bryant community that we're getting to hang out with today. Like if it wasn't for a lot of us getting the flack you know 10 20 years ago for the way we dress a lot of these younger people wouldn't be able to have that same opportunity that they do now and that's really cool to think about as well how who, far things have come who would have thought when we were 16 17 that we'd be doing the cuts that no other <laughs> stylist could do in our small towns let me tell y'all, my uh, first forays into like doing my own hair was because I went through like every hairstylist in my small town and was miserable every time I brought in a picture of like a Korean or Japanese pop star or rock star and they couldn't do it. So then I went on to YouTube and I'm like, all the cool kids on YouTube know how to color and cut their own hair, so surely I can do it. <laughs> Second says, I, I know everyone says Beetlejuice vibes, but I think of Medusa with the green hair and dark makeup. Love Ooh, it. Ooh, you're going to be raptor this girl's that. heart right now. <laughs> the curly hair for sure. I can totally see it. I'll accept Next that. Halloween costume for sure. I have thought about doing Medusa before actually. <laughs> it would be a super fun one. Yeah, for sure. Especially makeup and like contacts and stuff. Yeah. Would be pretty cool. So even aside from the liquid demis, does anyone have any questions about the semi-line, permanent? Obviously we're trying to focus on the demis. But. We did just have the expansion to the Faction 8, which is super exciting. So like there's the 1-1, which is a level one blue-black, um, again in the Faction 8, so that's the permanent colors. I've seen some really, really pretty um, Really pretty work just done with like 1-1 one one and 6 ball. Um, I was like, wow, that's actually like super black and just doing the 6 ball. Like that's gorgeous. Um, and then we have all the bomb new coppers in there as well as the dash 7-7, seven seven, which is matte or green booster. So you can get super creative with those guys too. What you can see here is like how easy it is to work this product throughout the hair. I have only mixed up an ounce of color and it's gotten through, you know, the entirety of her half head here. So like two ounces of color for an entire head application. Is uh, perfectly feasible. Right? It sounds like more money in my pocket. Granted, I'm a huge fan of salon scale, if anybody uses that. Um, the entire concept of being able to track your color usage so that you know exactly what you're using every time. You can do, you know, Betty's perfect formula every single time. But it also helps to track your product usage so that you're not having 3,000 colors on the shelf that you'll never use. And when it comes to color corrections, like you can bring that price tag up quite fast and quite quick with color product. Um, I'm just gonna grab a fresh pair of gloves here for the front. But we can see this processing nicely here. But we can see that it's not touching our front piece at all, even though we used a bottle, which shows that it's very precise in its application. So yeah, on the topic of salon scale, like I did a color a few weeks ago that literally cost $162 in product alone. 
if I had gone and only charged, you know, $150 for that service, you would have been losing money. It would have been literally going right down the drain. So thanks to salon scale and being able to track how much product I use, it wasn't just money leaking out of the po po pocket at the end of the day. And not coming from our own pockets. Yeah. So now we've got our level nine natural, giving that a nice shake. Sorry if that sucked for anyone wearing headphones. <laughs> foil again gets. and that's just nicely staying attached via the product And I'm not worried about getting this level nine onto the level five on the side here because the level nine is not going to do anything <laughs> to my level five. Sagan now wants a dark money piece. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I Just be careful if you're blonde. <laughs> Just use noir during the semi-permanents. So Semi-permanent black. Do it up. <laughs> You can always take it out with blank canvas afterwards. I have to regularly talk myself out of putting black in my hair, but one of these days I'm gonna put noir in. I mean, like, I got short enough bangs. Bangs grow yeah. out. Do something fun with the parts that grow out fast. This is true, she says. Yeah, at least it would just fade. But you do have to be prepared because it does lift out a little pink if it's fresh. So be mentally prepared for that. Have this conversation with yourself as a client. Pre-warn you. <laughs> be like, all right, this time we're going to do black. Next time we're going to do like hot pink. Mm -hmm. Another great option with Noir is to add some lava to it so it doesn't go too blue. Ooh, exactly. I hear that a lot in this group, so. can already see that base cooling down which is awesome and then I'm getting a clean brush I'm not using the one that was in my <laughs> level five we're not bringing that five all the way through our nine I'm distributing that product right through the section So is anybody like a Faction 8 user first, like wanting to go into the Liquid Demis? The cool thing about the Liquid Demis and Faction 8 is they both have the same number numbering system. So let's say Miss Quinn here needed some gray coverage, like full on gray coverage. We could go in with the level, let's say a level 5-00, so a level 5 double natural. We could do that with a 15 vol and on her roots to cover her grays, but then just to refresh her ends, we could go in with the five natural gold that we've created today. Lish Mac says, just want to say you're doing awesome. Congrats on the class. Thanks, man.
like if, any, if I ever comment on someone's stuff and I say homie or man at you, those are my favorite gender neutral terms. You're my homie no matter what. <laughs> my clients come in, like even like the wee little little guys. Sup, my favorite homie. <laughs> and they just think you're the coolest person ever. So that is the last portion of that applied. So for processing time, let's say for Manny, she's just a regular processing time. She doesn't have anything crazy going on. She'll just be 20 minutes, no heat, nothing crazy. Alternatively, let's say Quinn needed a little bit of gray blending. If we want that coverage, we're gonna go back into faction eight. But if we want gray blending, we can pop a processing cap over her, pop her under heat like a hooded dryer for 20 minutes. After that 20 minutes, we're either gonna lift our dryer or take that heat off and process for another 20 minutes. So for gray blending, we're gonna be processing for a total of 40 minutes. I just wanna do one more check over this. There we go. And she is applied. What are we at for time? We are at 6.47. Can you say how long the live has been on for? 47. 47? Yep. Perfect. Excellent. So we've got both our gals covered here. If you want to do one more pen over everything. Um, thank you so much, Pulp Riot Hair, for having me on here today. I'm Spooky Caitlin. I work primarily with Pulp Riot Canada. These are our formulas for our customizing cuts with color. If you're wanting more information, definitely give me a shout after the live here. I love answering any kinds of questions. Um, and if you come back to my Instagram page, you'll be able to see the full finish result of our super badass rock star e-girl and our little bit more casual everyday like boho vibe e-girl. So thank you so much for tuning in again today. And if you guys want to see more, if you want to see how we did the haircuts of these, definitely give Pulp Riot a shout so that I can come back again. Bye.